All right, so we're going to take a look at the uh, Node MCU, which is a, a development board that's based off of the ESP8266. Uh, but basically, it's it's kind of like having an Arduino Nano board with uh, Wi-Fi built in. So we can do pretty much anything we can do with an Arduino Nano. Uh, we're going to program with the Arduino IDE, but we get the added bonus of having Wi-Fi built in. So we can connect to the internet, we can connect to uh, other Wi-Fi devices in your uh, home or wherever on your network. Uh, so you can do a lot of fun stuff. So I want to talk about the end goal here. What we're going to do with this uh, little mini series here is we're going to write all the code for the uh, the board and get that all running. Then we're going to move over and create a fairly simple um, although I got a little carried away with it, uh, so I'd say fairly simple, um, web interface uh, to control uh, an LED light on the board. Now you should be able to do this locally if you have a server running on your computer um, by uh, accessing the local host or uh, what we're going to do in this is uh, we're going to upload it to one of my servers so that we can control it remotely and uh, when we get to that point where we have the uh, the interface, the web interface set up, um, I'm going to stop the pre-recorded videos and uh, finish up the series with a live video. So that way we can all interact. So you guys will be able to turn the light on and off um, from wherever you are watching live. Um, which It's pretty exciting. Uh, it seems silly. It's just a little LED light stuck to a breadboard. But... Uh, the, the takeaway from this is that if you know how to do anything with an Arduino board, um, you can use this to trigger things. You can turn, turn on motors. Um, you can turn on bigger lights. Uh, you can, I mean, you can do a bunch. Um, kind of the sky's the limit. But this will show you how to interact with the board remotely, and then you can take that basic concept and do whatever you want with it. Now, there's a little bit of setup here. Um, not too much. I'm going to assume you already have Arduino. If you don't, um, pop over their website and download the uh, Arduino IDE. Um, it's f uh, at this point, the the web interface that Arduino offers uh, does not support these libraries that we're going to need. However, the uh, web interface is actually pretty cool. Uh, it's a way to kind of store your uh, Arduino sketches up in the cloud and kind of get to them anywhere. Um, and it stays up to date, et cetera. But uh, for this uh, purpose, we're going to use the standalone IDE that you download and install. So walk through the steps here, and uh, this readme will get uh, bigger as the uh, project goes. But uh, these are the first steps here. So start Arduino and open preferences. We're going to add this URL here to the uh, additional board manager URLs. And then we can open up the boards manager and install this library here. And this is going to allow us to um, utilize the Arduino IDE to program for the uh, Node MCU. So if we pop over here, I went ahead and I, I created a new sketch and uh, I saved it as Wi-Fi underscore LED. We can save it however you want. Um, it's going to pop up with this uh, kind of generic setup here. We'll get into that later, but I'm going to show you really quick where those uh, areas of the IDE are that I just talked about. So if you go up to File and Preferences, and if you go down here to Additional Board Manager URLs, copy that in there. This is the this is the thing here, and say OK, and then go to Tools and Board. Uh, this isn't going to necessarily look the same yet because you haven't installed it yet, but you st should see uh, an option for Board. And go to Board Manager. If you haven't, uh, or if you can't see this here, you may have to like scroll up or something. Hit that and search for ESP. And here it is. Mine's already installed, um, so you should see this uh, not grayed out. And uh, we're using the most recent version, so uh, in order to follow along, I would go with that. So hit install. Um, it may ask you to restart Arduino. Can't remember, um, but either way, that gets the uh, libraries installed. 